Oh my gosh, y'all, the snow is really coming down now. Good morning, y'all. Today is just a little protein coffee. Uh, what do we call this? Not a shake, like a protein drink, I guess. I got these from Aldi. I realized they were fixing to go bad, so I need to drink them, but I totally love them. Like, I would repurchase. I was just kind of saving them for a special day, but I better drink them before they go bad. So, I'm having this this morning, and I'm making the boys some biscuits. Okay, finished my drink, my protein drink. Protein, I want to say shake, but it's not a shake. Anyway, that thing I showed you. I'm having my Zip Fizz. got my little notebook. I've got, um... My keto cooking, got my printer cleared off. Like, normally I don't do all this, but I'm just like, I told you the other day, I need some new recipes. So I'm gonna go on Pinterest and hopefully find some new fun things to put in my book and to cook. I'm over here at my chair and they're gonna do the countdown. I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> what is it, what is it? A chocolate bunny? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. The boys uh, left for school and I started thinking that I wanted, I had seen somebody, uh, another autumn on Instagram. <laughs> Here we go. Try on some cream kind of, khaki, not khaki, like cream, um, like cropped pants, like cropped jeans. And they were so stinking cute. So I got to look in and then I found shorts. And then I was like, well, what all shorts do I have from last summer that I really liked? And I found all those. And then this just spiraled into, let me take all my summer stuff out and see what I've got. I have a basket in my closet that houses all of like, um, my holiday wear that's not Christmas. My Christmas one is in a separate bin, but like I'll keep Halloween and Valentine's and all of the summertime stuff in a bin separate. Um, so I'm going through all that and I went through my closet and I got rid of even more stuff that I'm just not wearing y'all and I'm noticing it's not my colors like the stuff that I it is in this pile I have not worn in forever and it's not even in my color so like time to pass it on to somebody else so that's what I'm working on this morning. I have this many hangers now y'all. <laughs> All right, so I ended up with a nice little pile of shorts. I think a couple of these are too short and I don't really like them. I'm not feeling like trying shorts on right now. I know these two that I got from Amazon, they're the Lee brand. I'll make sure they're linked in my fashion storefront. I think they are. They are so good. They're the perfect length. They're the perfect, like, relaxed fit. I love these two for sure. And I'm, there's, there's a white in these, I think. But it's white, white. And I'd rather have, like, a creamy ivory color. I just think that looks better. And it's in my colors. Um, so we'll see if I can get those. Amazon has this like try before you buy thing now. Um, I was gonna see what my white actually was. Oyster is what I need to be finding. Um, so you, it's almost like Stitch Fix where they send you stuff and then you just send it back if you don't like it. So I'm trying some. Here's my kind of creamy white there. Um, I'm trying some pants jeans white creamy jeans and some regular jeans i think too so that i can send them back if i don't like them i really love that option so i'm going to try it out with y'all and see how it goes let me know if you've tried the try it before you buy um link or not link but like option on amazon good morning y'all i feel like i've been on a treasure hunt oh my goodness i am so excited first of all let's talk about the outfit i pulled <sighs> I am pulling stuff that I have not worn in forever and it's so much fun. I'm just looking at my sink full of dishes. That'll be on the to-do list for this afternoon. Um, these Stella and Dot earrings I have had forever and they are like a perfect match to geranium. I absolutely love them and it's so fun because I can't think I can do it now but you can pull this bottom part off and make them look like this and then you can pull this part off too and just have the stud. So it's like three earrings in one. I used to wear them all the time. I haven't worn them forever. I've got um, kind of a geranium, I guess, colored lip on. I thought it went cute with the shirt. This is that um, tank that's got the pretty lace um, from Amazon. They have lots of different colors. But um, I picked this one because it's got geranium and it's got heliotrope. It's not a perfect match for heliotrope, but like that's the only blue we get really with autumn colors. And so I'm rocking it because I like blue. <laughs> Also, I just have it paired with um, one of my uh, Walmart cardigans that I love so much. And this is almost a perfect match to tan. And then since I'm heading to school, I do have navy pants on with just some little um, tan colored loafers. Did I say this? I'll, uh, this is linked to my Amazon store for, and there's a ton of colors and patterns that it comes in. Um, I think this will be really cute. Um, it's got a tiny bit of mustard in it that you could pull out and I think it'd be really pretty. I would love that color blue cardigan too. I think that would be cute, but 
this is what I got. So this is what we're putting with it. Anyway, back to my treasure hunt. And I curled my hair, y'all. <laughs> it's fun when you have time to curl your hair. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I was looking in, um, I have some, is this piece not curled? Don't y'all hate it when that happens? Let's just shove that to the back. There we go. Um, I was trying on shorts. I showed you all that and I was thinking that I had some green shorts, which I found. This is like the perfect match to grass green too. Look how pretty that is. Mm -mm, I love it. Uh, and in finding those, I found a ton of other stuff too that I had forgotten about. I had these two huge, those are like the, well I can take you over here. <laughs> the super long um, bands full of jeans and one dress too that are like two sizes too big for me and I have not worn them in at least three years. I haven't lost a ton of weight in the past three years but I haven't gained any either so I feel fine giving those away to somebody who will use them. Um, they were just hidden under my bed and I totally forgot about them but I also found four pair of jeans that actually fit me now that I guess I had put under there that they didn't fit like I was in between sizes or whatever and they're like capri length jeans and that is what I've been looking for um I have a couple of good pairs of just like um I have one really good pair of boot cut kind of flares that I wore this weekend um that are can cans and then I have one pair of like a skinny jean and then I have maybe I have two skinny jeans that I can go back and forth but really I have a couple other pairs in my like section with just regular jeans but I hardly ever wear them because I don't love them and these are all like capri length which I need going into spring and summer and I had just ordered a pair of um crop like um capri length jeans on Amazon to do that try before you buy a deal and I canceled it quick hopefully they'll take the cancellation otherwise it'll just come and I'll send them back because I now have four new new to me <laughs> new to me again pairs of jeans oh my goodness what a treasure look what a treasure finding quit messing with my hair I'm gonna yank it out of my head um I was so excited to find those and I remember wearing those jeans I wore them before um I thought my hair that is sticking up mm -hmm. um before Merit was born like that's when I was wearing them so that's exciting to be back you know into those again um I could have been back into them for at least two years now but I didn't know they were under there so anyway and then all this other stuff is like after I have McCoy um and all the baby weight so that's nice I'm just gonna it's gonna be nice to like get rid of them even though I didn't know they were under there <laughs> so that's good um I'll just put those I have a, the bag right here full of the rest of the stuff that I purged out of my closet and I'll put these in bags too and just take those all to my um kind of local goodwill store and then best part is I have two empty bins to use in the playroom um organization takedown whatever like whatever we're gonna do with all of uh the stuff like it's snowing is this real life so over it um I need bins to like for sure move stuff down there and maybe store stuff down there or store stuff in my craft room so that is great um I think that would be a great bin for Legos too just like a loose Lego so that's exciting um anyway the green shorts are a little big and they're a little long which I never thought I would say about shorts but I just love the color so much so I'm thinking these are from JCPenney from like a million years ago um I'm thinking I could since I mean I'm probably not gonna wear them if I don't if they're too long that I can like cut the bottoms off and make them like uh braid him at the bottom so they'll be just a tick shorter and kind of have a little detail to him so I'm thinking about doing that I don't know I don't want to wreck them but also it's like I'm not wearing them anyway I haven't worn them in I don't know how long so we'll see um okay I need to have some lunch quick uh it is Ooh, 11.51. I need to leave here about 12.20, so I'm going to have some lunch. Um, I sat there. I had all of my stuff sitting out ready to print recipes and stuff, and then my computer was running so slow, so like when I'm doing Vlogmas or Vlogster like this, I get, there's like a ton of videos, and so uh, it like weighs down my computer, makes it really slow, slower than it would normally be, which is pretty slow anyway. I'm not going to, I'm going to hold, I'm going to put my hand in my pocket. Um, so I don't delete any of that. I have like an external hard drive and I just move all the videos over so I can keep them just in case. I don't know. That may be dumb, but that's just what I do. So I spent some of the morning doing that. And then of course the rest of the time I was in my room finding clothes and purging clothes. So 
that's what I did this morning. I need to wash dishes this afternoon. I told the boys we weren't going to do another suite this afternoon because we still have um, the Muddy Buddies. And I'm like, already can't handle not eating those. So we don't need anything else sweet right now. Maybe Friday night we can do something sweet. But um, we might do our egg amazings, which is the, we use the little wooden eggs and the markers. And it spins around. We had gotten those sent to us to review a couple years ago now. This might be our third year to use them. Um, they're really cool. So I think we might just do those this afternoon as a fun little project for Vlogster. And then, um, like I said, maybe do a sweet or something on Friday night. Okay, I'm going to have some lunch. And I'm going to focus. And I'm going to head to school. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, this note is really coming down now. I actually didn't have to um, be here till the very end of the day. But it's only about 20 minutes left. Um, and I had told the boys already that they, they could ride home with me. So I'm just going to wait out here. I had told McCoy to grab Merritt. And they'll just come out to the car. And they'll, they can come home with me and sit around the bus. Because it's kind of a long ride um, on the way home. So I'm just going to hang out here and watch them maybe Outlander and wait for them to get out of school. <laughs> All right, we're home. I wanted to show M McCoy wore his flamingo shoes to school today. And, and, I wanted uh, to show y'all there. Listen, 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 this is how sweating my feet are. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, I'm having some hollow chips because I'm hungry. I only had a little um, wrap quick for lunch. So I'm gonna have that and then, what am I gonna do? Y'all gonna have some downtime? I had lunch at home. They're gonna have some downtime. I'm gonna finally try to find me some recipes. Um, sit out and relax for a little bit. Maybe have a pop. <laughs> Ooh, I should answer questions. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> this is not getting gone quick enough for my liking, y'all. Such a temptation. Okay, let's do some questions. I don't have to cook supper tonight because we have plenty of soup left over, so that is exciting. Um, okay, ready? <laughs> Jackie M says, my question, have you guys ever thought about Disney World or your boys into Disney? Um, when they were younger, I talked about it a lot, like taking them to Disney. My sister and her family has gone a ton, have gone a ton. Um, they're big Disney people. Uh, I wouldn't say big Disney people, but they like to go Disney. They were into Disney when they were younger, but not like Disney like Channel and Disney movies and stuff. Like we watch all the Disney movies that come out, but they're not like into it at all i guess star wars would be the only thing they're into and mccoy doesn't even really like that it's more merit um so i don't know never say never i just feel like at this point if we're gonna spend that kind of money i'd rather go to like the grand canyon and that whole like loop of parks uh, around that area or take another trip to yellowstone and spend that money doing like things that we all enjoy so I don't know and I like Disney I'm not saying I don't like Disney I'm just not like crazy about it I guess so I don't know y'all know how we vacation I just don't know that I can't see us at Disney never say never though <laughs> um let's see a May 0687 says um how long have you and Craig been together I just love watching your family thanks so much we will be married 12 years in August we, uh, let's see, we met in October of 2007. We dated long distance until June. Um, so October to June, we dated long distance. And then August, he proposed. Then, Because uh, I moved to Iowa in June. And then August, he proposed at the Iowa State Fair. And we were on the Sky Glider, which is that big, like, ride that goes over the top of the fair. And it was nighttime. It was really, <laughs> it was really spectacular. Nice job, Craigers. Oh, uh, anyway. Then, so we were engaged from August to the next August. We were engaged a complete year. And I lived in, not southern Iowa, I guess. Southwest, mid South Iowa, I don't know, um, near Des Moines is where I lived and I was working for a graphic design company doing livestock um, and agriculture publications for that uh, year that we were engaged. And so I would come up on the weekends. He came down a few times, but I came up more than um, he was, uh, he came to see me. So it was just easier for me because obviously the farm and everything he had going on. So that is how long we've been together. So what is that? Two years, so 14 years total, I guess, ish, I don't know, a long time. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rosa Santos asks, how do you keep everyone and everything organized and not stressed out? Boys, do y'all think I get stressed out? Merit says. 
<laughs> I do get stressed out. I write a ton of notes. I'm a post-it like crazy person. I love to have post-its everywhere to remember everything. I also use that. What's that app on my phone? It's not an app. It's just like on your phone. Notes. And I have like notes for days. Um, I have a vlogster note on there and I have it printed out. Uh, multiple, if I have things multiple places, it helps me remember more things. I have like a note that's like this week and I write down all of like, like when I'm not doing vlogster, I like write down all the things I want to get done for the week and then I can um, mark them off. I like lists. I use my planner. I don't know. That's how I stay organized, I guess. Uh, I should probably have a better system. Somebody was talking the other day. I think it was even Craig talking about doing Google, like Google Calendar. or So, like, both of our phone, iPhone calendar. I don't know what it's called. But, like, so we're, we could both see what's going on on both of our phones. So, we're at a point now where my planner sits out here on the counter. And, like, we can look at that for the week. And he'll tell me if I need to write something down. If he's at a meeting or I'm going to meet. But... We can control that better because it's just usually us at this point having meetings. But once the boys start getting more involved and more like we have 4-H. At, at right now, all we have is 4-H and Clover Kids. Right? Is that all y'all are doing right now? Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else as far as like meetings goes. Now in the summer, they have baseball. And in the fall, they have football. And in the winter, they have um, basketball. But... We just keep it on the planner. But if more things start to happen and they get involved in more stuff, I could see we're having like a calendar on our phone would be um, better. So I do get stressed out a lot. So don't think I don't. <laughs> um, okay. Did I answer that one? Uh, let's do one. Maybe do two more and we'll finish out this first page that I have here. Um... Terry Lowe says, hello, I love your channel and your personality. Thank you. Uh, your family is so lovely. What is your favorite part of Easter with your kids and family? My favorite part of Easter is, um, how do I really love, I know this is not, we believe in, in the real reason of Easter and that Jesus rose and he died for our sins on the cross, but I also love to die Easter eggs, y'all. <laughs> Um, it just is so nostalgic for me and and I know you've seen us dye eggs before and we do it like old school with just the dye um nothing crazy no stickers and no like sponge paint no glitter nothing crazy like good old-fashioned dye in the eggs um just like bright pretty colors and that is like what we did as kids and it was just so nostalgic for me to do that with the boys and remember my childhood but my mama would always and this is the only time i ever remember using these glasses but she had these like beautiful um glass goblets and we would use those to dye the eggs in um and it's just like such a special memory and i hope that the boys remember dyeing eggs with me forever too so that's probably one of my favorite uh like things that we do at easter um was that just for me or was that for the boys? Should we ask them? Merritt, what's your favorite thing to do at Easter? They're on their oh, iPads. Oh, Merritt likes to do, I don't think we did that last year. Oh, you know what, my Merritt, I don't have any of those crescent rolls either. We were gonna get those. They made, you made them at church though. We used to do it every year. We would do like the marshmallow in the crescent roll and it was like the tomb. And then when you baked it, it was gone and you rolled the, um, well, you cut it open and you realized that Jesus was risen. Um, uh, but I didn't do it last year. I don't think I did it the year before either because we had done it so many times. Um, but maybe we'll have to do it again this year. That is a good one. And they taste delicious too. Um, they did it at church the other day on Wednesday night, a couple Wednesday nights ago, and he was talking about it. Coy, what's your favorite thing to do at Easter? I think he has headphones on. McCoy. Easter egg hunt is McCoy's favorite. <laughs> okay. Miranda B, your church seems to do so much great stuff with the kids. Is your church big? I go to an old school southern church. We have Sunday morning and evening services as well as Wednesday night prayer meeting. The kids have Sunday school on Sunday mornings. We're a fairly small church with attendance ranging from 40 to 60. Um, I do not know how many people we have in our church, but it is not big. Like, I know everybody's name. Uh, I mean, for the most part. <laughs> um... And we have Sunday school on Sunday mornings, and I teach um, fourth through sixth grade. It used to just be sixth grade, but we're going through like a lull in kids, and so we had to put fourth through sixth together, um, which is totally fun. And they all um, go to the same school, and they all know each other, so it's fun to get to see them all together. Um, and Merritt is in my class, so that is always fun, right, Merritt? Mm -hmm. You love to be in my Sunday school class, don't you? No, I don't. No, he doesn't. Craig helps me teach, too. Um, so, we have Sunday school, and then we have Wednesday night programs. So, um, first through third does a program, and then fourth through sixth. 
no. Is it just fourth through sixth grade? Yeah, fourth through sixth as a program, and then they have a junior high program and a high school program. Um, and I don't know that they all meet on Wednesday nights, but I know the younger kids all meet on Wednesday night. I think maybe the junior high meet on Sunday night. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, so not a big church, no, but not little tiny either. I guess I don't know how many people. I don't even, I don't, I'm not good at like estimating how many people, but um, it's nice enough where, where we have like a community, like a smaller community where we can all know each other and keep, you know, keep up with each other and know what's going on, right? Like, but big enough to where it's not like two, two rows of pews, you know? <laughs> It's good. It's a perfect number, if you ask me. So, um, what else did you ask? Is your church big? Yeah. Okay. And we have Sunday, Wednesday night programs, Sunday morning. Yes. Um, and we just have one service on Sunday morning. Used to, when I first was dating Craig, they had a, a Sunday night service doing it. would be more just like singing. Um, but they stopped doing that quite a while ago. I don't even remember if we ever took the boys to that. So, it's been a long time since they have not done that anymore. But... I think they always only had just one service on Sunday morning, so not big enough to have two services. Um, okay. Oh no. Oh, Miranda B, you have more questions. I'll wait on that one. Okay, so we got that one page done. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna eat my chips and drink my Diet Dr. Pepper. Try to find some new recipes, y'all. <laughs> All right, boys went out and did chores. They're back in, gonna have a little pad time. I went ahead and got the egg mazings out. I thought I had more than these, but this is all I have left. I try to get these. Some of these I got from Dirt Cheap. They're all Target. They're just like little white wooden eggs. Um, and I was thinking I had got some on clearance last year too, but this is the only pack I can find. So they'll each do three eggs, which is better than nothing. And then also while I was cleaning or, or finding these in the craft cabinet, I saw these little slimy goo squand thing. Not squand, sand goo that my sister had given them for Christmas as like part of their treasure hunt. So I thought we could go ahead and play with those today too. Um, farmer just walked in. I went ahead and got comfy. Y'all know I was going to. Okay, this is that Walmart car, uh, sweatshirt that I have in a ton of colors. And I am thinking that this, could this be close to heliotrope? Mm, no, not really. Maybe like a lighter version of it. It's not terrible. Heliotrope. Heliotrope. I mean, you know, I think it harmonizes. Plus, I mean, that doesn't look bad with all those colors. You're supposed to like have your fan out and see if it like harmonizes or if, or if it looks bad. It's definitely a little cooler than it should be probably, but I love these sweatshirts. I don't know I do. Um, and then I have on these um, little, uh, what is, uh, jogging pants, joggers from Walmart in this olive color. They're just the time and true, just cozy, comfy joggers. They have like a, um, waistband that looks like that, if that helps at all, and pockets. I'm loving these. I don't know what other colors they have, but they're super cozy. Uh, I don't know that I would wear these, like, out of the house. Maybe just, like, to run errands quick if I had, like, something cute on. I don't know. This isn't terrible together. Um... But they are comfy. I like these a lot. Uh, I think I picked them up the same time that I got the bronze leggings and then that tan, kind of camel tan colored hooded sweatshirt I had on the other day. I like this color, y'all. I think I'm doing, I think uh, it's heliotrope. We're calling it heliotrope. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, I like the pants. I have like no brain today. And when I was waiting, after I talked to y'all, after I was waiting on the boys, I almost fell asleep in the car. <laughs> tired i don't know i need to quit like watching outlander at night like if i watch a youtube video at night when the video's over it'll just stop so if i fall asleep mid video then it just quits but outlander just keeps playing and like i'll fall asleep but then there'll be like a war and like guns going off or somebody screaming and then it'll like scare me awake and then i can't go back to sleep like i gotta stop doing it but i can't stop watching it i'm like Four episodes left on season five, so I'm fixing to have to get stars so I can watch this sixth season. I just keep thinking, like, what else are they gonna do? Like, how many more seasons could they possibly have with this storyline? And they just keep coming up with more stuff. Anyway, uh, they're gonna have some pad time. We're just gonna all relax as a family, and then they'll probably do this um, egg craft egg amazing and then we're just gonna have soup for tonight and it's a perfect night to have soup another cold dreary when y'all dreary it's hard to say that word dreary i'm over it it's a little wobbly
Uh, I think I already, yeah, I think I already told you Egg Amazing sent us these a while, I think two years ago, but I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. They're just a fun way to decorate a little okay. egg and have some Easter fun. You gonna put your egg on there, Merritt? Um, I did find a few recipes. Um, low carb white chicken enchiladas. That one sounded really good, so I'll share it when we make it. And then just keto chicken enchiladas sounded really good too. And then keto calzones. Mmm, that sounds so good. Were these all from the same? It doesn't tell me where they're from. Also, sorry, that noise is probably annoying. Clean keto lifestyle. Uh, Jennifer Bands, and I don't know who this other one is from. Low Carb Nomad. So, maybe we can make some of these during Lunchster. I'm still going to look some more, but this is what I got for now. Okay. I'm going to cut you off because this noise is annoying me right now. I know it's got to be annoying y'all too. Here it's got an American egg. Oh, no, he has an Americana egg. Americana. What are I you doing? You said, no way Orange said. and blue. Um, Craig, these are the clothes I gotta put in the car to take to the a Goodwill place. Craig is shredding the cheese. This all we're gonna have? I'm gonna have some guac with mine too. I just warmed the uh, suit back up in the microwave, so that will be good to go. I was just teasing McCoy because one of his little friends at school today asked him why his mama wore so much makeup. <laughs> And I said, and I said that McCoy said it's because I looked ugly without it. He didn't really say that. He said because I look like a stranger without it. But I feel like stranger. Hmm. Does that mean I don't look like myself? I feel like that means ugly. Come on, McCoy, do better. <laughs> Ooh, McCoy, that is a good job. They're so beautiful. Ooh, Mary, are you doing a grass green one? That's so pretty too. I love them. Oh, we're gonna do this. I want to see what this stuff feels like. <laughs> this one might be my favorite. Pink and green. I love it, Mayor. Okay, Koi's finishing his up. And then we did open this stuff up. It's like gonna make a huge mess. But it smells really good and it feels very fun too. Um, my soup is ready to go. Night two of yummy goodness. Okay, y'all, it is 8.35. We watched another episode of Young Riders, did the dishes. Everybody's in bed now. Well, Craig and I aren't in bed, but all the boys, are, all the boys, <laughs> my two boys are in bed. Um, and I am gonna head that way soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, y'all.